Hey guys, I'm Scythian, and today we're going over how to use the Deeper Chain to BSC Bridge so that we can withdraw our DPR mining rewards. The first thing you'll need to do is ensure you have your Deeper Chain wallet added in the Polkadot.js wallet extension on your browser. If you have not done this yet, check out my video connecting your Deeper Chain wallet to a Polkadot wallet. Our next step is to switch out MetaMask from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network. If you aren't a regular trader on the Binance Smart Chain, then you likely don't have this added to your MetaMask. To add the BSC network, you have two options. Option 1, the manual way. You can follow the guide I will link in the description down below. Or, option 2, you head to Chainlist.org, also in the description. Click Connect Wallet, Next, and Connect. Search BSC in the top search bar, and click Add to MetaMask on the one with the chain ID 56. This is the regular BSC. The second one there is the testnet version. Click Approve, and switch network. After it connects, open your wallet, and you'll see at the top we are now on the Binance Smart Chain and no longer on the Ethereum network. You can easily switch between the two up here, and the accounts will still have the same wallet addresses. Next, we need some BNB in our wallet to approve transactions, just as we would need ETH for gas on the Ethereum network. You can buy BNB on many different exchanges. I use both KuCoin and MEXC. BSC transactions are usually only pennies to maybe $2 or so, so I'd send about 5 bucks and you won't have to worry about being short. Assuming that you've come this far and have staked, you should know how to send tokens to a wallet, so I will go ahead and move on to the next step. Once you have some BNB in your wallet, head to the bridge website linked below. Yes, the URL says Ethereum, but this bridge auto-detects if your MetaMask is on Ethereum or BSC settings. MetaMask will pop up, prompting you to connect with the bridge. Just select the account you want the DPR to deposit into. This must be the account you have the BNB in to cover the fees. By default, it is set to go from BSC to Deeper Chain. This is how you can load tokens onto your device. But since we want to withdraw, we're going to click the swap icon. The bridge will auto detect your Polkadot wallet extension and display your deeper chain wallet address. You'll see the total DPR balance available, and below we can select the amount of DPR we want to withdraw. There is a withdrawal minimum of 1000 DPR, and you are permitted to withdraw a maximum of 20,000 DPR per day. This is just for testing right now to ensure the bridge isn't flooded, causing errors, and this limit will be removed in the future. After you click send, you'll be prompted to sign a message from your Polkadot wallet, followed by a transaction request from MetaMask. Now since this is my first time using the BSC bridge, I have to accept the smart contract. This is not the actual withdrawal transaction and will only happen the first time you interact with the bridge. Wait a few seconds, and once this is confirmed, MetaMask will request the first of two transactions. This is to send DPR from your device to the bridge. The reason it goes to the bridge first is because a bridge actually burns one chain's token and mints a new one on the other chain you are withdrawing to. After you click confirm on this, scroll down to our transfer records where we will see the status of our transaction pending. Once successful, a withdraw button will appear. Clicking withdraw, we are met with the second transaction fee, third if you include the one-time contract fee. Click confirm, and that's it, you've successfully withdrew DPR tokens to your MetaMask. Since these tokens are in the BEP20 form, they can be traded at two locations, PancakeSwap or KuCoin, both of which I have linked in the description down below. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep your data safe, I'm Scythian, and I'll see you in the next video.